and let's proceed with no delay because you know how it is like for the last months we've been having we've been at the going actually uh, terrible constraints when it comes to slots when it comes to timing and managing the timing and this is the case this morning we have a relevant point in the order of the day not the only one there are a couple of them there is a second point in the order of the day which is not of minor importance child abuse child pornography all of that we also have to discuss but the first point in the order of the day is nothing less than discussing the new pact on migration and asylum but there is two hours of a slot it's been called this new pact on migration and asylum a fresh start actually not a start from zero because we have law european law in the first place this european parliament has adopted a migration package when the Lisbon Treaty entered into force 2019-2014, this committee was heavily involved in putting in place a migration package, a whole migration package with a series of pieces of legislation and an asylum package also with a relevant series of pieces of legislation. But we have seen that there have been not only, not only recurrent arguments about unfairness or inequities in the responsibility share among member states and of course also arguments about lack of solidarity and actually breaches of that legal principle which is not a wishful thinking solidarity is actually a legal principle enshrined in article 80 of the treaty of functioning of the european union thus a legal principle a binding legal principle according to european law that is the situation we are facing today we're getting started with this debate it won't be, of course, the, 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 the last discussion we're going to have on this fresh start. That is something sure. So this is only the beginning of this discussion, but I beg your understanding to handle the timing, because it's only two hours, and I have just read that actually our Commissioner Johansson uh, Home Commissioner Johansson has to leave by 9.45. If I am right, that will make it only the more difficult to handle the timing. Of course, Vice President Skinas will be there. We thank you for that. But the point is that we're going to have a discussion where there's going to be a round for coordinators. Please do it in two minutes. Do it in two minutes, coordinator. And I will try to open up a second round, as I always try to, to please all those members willing to make their points in only one minute. And this time, you know that I'm trying to be flexible and try to please every member willing to make their statements. This time, I am really constrained by the timing. So please, this time, do refrain, because otherwise I will cut your speaking time. Okay, then just let me take it for granted that we are adopting the agenda with no objections, that you have read the chair announcements, and that we endorse the nomination of rapporteurs because there have been uh, a couple of resolutions that have been allocated. Uh, and considering that we, you have before your eyes the minutes uh, and the order of the day, we take for granted that we are adopting all of these points, the endorsements of the coordinators, the final feedback uh, back note of the coordinators meeting of 7 September can be found in the meeting documents. And then we proceed without further delay to the point number three, new pact on asylum and migration. As I said, we heard from President for the Lion in the first debate of the State of the Union she had, proposing to begin with when he when she came to this European Parliament to seek for the for the confidence of this House and to launch the new commission that she would propose a new pact on migration and asylum, including the relaunch of the Dublin reform, comprehensive package of legislative proposal, recommendations and communications aiming at overcoming the deadlock in the council regarding the European common asylum system for years, protracted discussions that have been there and designing a new European asylum and migration policy that makes a positive difference, that actually makes a difference. 
partnership with third countries, cooperation, addressing the so-called root causes, and implementing the Global Compact that was endorsed by the United Nations resolutions back in 2018. Those are the, the, the considerations to frame this situation in which we happen to relaunch this important policy making and law making that certainly will consume much of our energy and time in the next future. That is why we welcome Vice President Skinas, European Way of Life, and Commissioner Johansson, Home Portfolio, to address us on the contents. We have read them, sure. Now we are ready to try to summarize to, the, to, to, to our very best the points that we are willing to make in getting started with this work ahead. So I invite Vice President Skinas first to take the floor and do it in 10 minutes. So you will help us to spare the maximum for the members willing to address questions to you and to Commissioner Johansson while she stays. Vice President Skinas, you have the floor. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, 